Today, we're going to talk about dilations and similarity in the coordinate plane, section 7.6. Okay, now when you think of the word dilation or dilating, uh, what do you think of? Your eyes. Your eyes, thank you. A lot of times you go to the eye doctor and they'll put drops in your eyes to make them dilate so you can see them. What happens to your eye when they do that? Your eyeballs go, or your pupils go what? Big. So dilation is usually either expanding, getting larger, or reducing. Does your pupil change sizes, though? Like, does it, does it change shapes? Does your pupil all of a sudden become a triangle? No, dilation is just taking the same thing, and it's just expanding it, getting it larger, bringing it closer. Does that make sense? So that's what we're doing today. We're taking shapes, and we're going to enlarge them or reduce them. Okay, so a dilation is a transformation that changes the size of a figure but not its shape. The pre-image and image are always similar. A scale factor describes how much a figure is enlarged or reduced. Um, triangle ABC has vertices 0, 0, 2, 6, and 6, 4. Find the coordinates of the vertices of the image after dilation with a scale factor of 1 half. Well, if it's a scale factor of 1 half, what they do is they just take everything times one half. So zero times one half and zero times one half gives me zero, zero. Two times one half and six times one half is one, three. Six times one half and four times one half is three, two. So I get my new coordinates by using that scale factor, okay? <clears throat> Same thing is true on the next one now. I can use um, scale factors or I can write proportions either way. Um, and I can find the distances of coordinates here. So for instance, I'm going from 4 to 8. <clears throat> or, sorry. I'm going from 8 to 4. What am I doing there? How do I go from 8 to 4? Divide by 2. So I'm going from 6 to F. What does F have to be at? 0. 3, because you divide by 2, right? It has to be the same to be similar. That's all that's same. Okay? And again, you can write proportions if you wanted to to solve those up. Okay? You can write proportions to set that up if you wanted to. Okay, so let's try number 1 here. Triangle EFG has vertices 0, 0, 1, 5, and 7, 2. It says find the coordinates of the image after dilation with a scale factor of 2 over 1. So I need to take all of my coordinates and multiply them by 2 over 1. So E, E, and now they say the image of E. So kind of using that apostrophe there. The new E would be located at 0 times 2, and 0 times 2 gets me 0, 0. That one doesn't change. F. Where would F be located at? I take 1, 2, 10. Nice job. Again, taking 2 times 1 and 2 times 5. And then how about G? Where would G be located at? 14 and 4. Nice job. One well, number 2 <coughs> says rectangle LMNP has vertices negative 6, 0, 6, 0, 6, negative 3, and negative 6, negative 3. Find the coordinates of the image after a dilation with a scale factor of one third. So now instead of multiplying by two, what are we going to do here? We're going to divide by three. Because multiplying by one third is the same thing as dividing by three. Does everybody understand that? Multiply by one, divide by three. All right, so L, L's new image goes at what location here, Allie? Negative two, zero. What about M? Where would M now be located at, Tiana? Two, zero. What about N? Where would N now be located at, Izzy? Two and negative one. And P, where would P be located at, Tigger? Negative two, negative one. Nice job. All right, what about number three here? It says, given that triangle AEB is similar to triangle CED, 
Find the coordinates of C in the scale factor. Well, I'm going from B to D here. How do you go from B to D? Plus 6. Multiply by 3. So to go from A to C, what do I need to do? Multiply by 3. And what's C's new coordinates going to be at? That is at 0, 6. Good work. What about number 4 here? Number 4 is not as easy. Not quite. <coughs> Given that triangle LKM is similar to triangle NKP, find the coordinates of P in the factor. What? How do I find 0, 6? Because we took 3 times 3 is 9. So then we took 0, 2, and times it by 3, and we got 0, 6. Do you see that? Okay, good work. So let's look at number 4. Now, I can set up a proportion if I wanted to. That's okay. Or I can also find scale factors. Either way. Would anybody like to try and set up a proportion for me? What might my proportion be? Anybody? Yes, Emily? Again, we're going to call P like X right now. We're going to find the X. Now, we don't need the zeros probably, right? So what do you think? 6 over 9 equals what? Equals X over 12. That would be a great way to solve that. Nice job. I can use proportions to solve that. Good work. 6 over 9 equals X over 12. And then when I work that out, I end up getting X to be at the coordinates, what? 8. So it comes out to be 8, 0. Nice job. You good? Yep. <coughs> nice job. Uh, the next thing we're going to talk about is using similarity in the coordinate plane with respect to distances. So we're going to be working with the distance formula here. Now, it says that angle A is congruent to angle A. Does everybody see why angle A is congruent to angle A? It's the same angle, right? Does everybody see the two triangles in the diagram here? I have my small triangle and I have my big triangle. Okay, there's two triangles there, so I'm checking the similarity of those two triangles. Now, notice what they do here. We found the distance of all these coordinates. Okay, so I'm finding the distance. So I found the square root of 13 and 2 squared of 13. Well, how do you go from square root of 13 to 2 squared of 13? You multiply by 2. Then they found the distance to the other one. And they have 2 squared of 2 and 4 squared of 2. What did they do there? They multiplied by 2, right? Does everybody see how they multiply by 2? Yes. Okay, thank you. Um, so that means they are proportional then. That's what we're looking for, for them to be proportional. So we're finding the distance and having them be proportional. So let's try these three here. Really, two, three. Okay, number five. It first says to plot the points. So I'm going to plot coordinate J, which is at 1, 1, right there. K is at 2, 3, right there. L is at 4, 1, right there. Oops. So there's triangle J, K, and L. And then I have M, which is at 3, 5. And N, which is at 7, 1. And then I connect my dots again. Okay, so I have my distances, or I have my triangles here. And that's at J, K, L, M, and N. Now, using the distance formula, I would like you to find all four of those distances. Find the distance from for J, K, J, M, J, L, and J, N on your own. Okay, we've a couple of seconds here and find those distances. All right, let's go through this here. JK, what is the distance for JK, Ezra? It's the square root of five. Because you, how do you go from J to K? You go up two over one. So two squared plus one squared gives me five. I'm going to take the square root of five. Remember Pythagorean theorem there? Um, what about JM? 
What's the dis square root of? 20. Now, it's the square root of 20, which really the square root of 20 simplifies to? 2 square root of 5. I don't understand. It comes down to you have to break it down. So the square root of 20. You have to find a factor tree, but one of them has to be a perfect square. So which one's a, what's a perfect square that goes into 20? It's 4 and 5. So it's the square root of 4 and the square root of 5. The square root of 4 is 2, so I get 2 square root of 5. So it's using factor trees to break it down, and one of them has to be a perfect square. Okay, what about JL? JL is what, Jace? 3. And what about JN? Tager, JN is? Six. Jan is just six. So what's the how do you go from the left the left distances to the right distances? You multiply by how do you go from three to six? Multiply by two. So are they proportional? Yes, they are. Yep, they're proportional there. Okay. That's all it's asking for. Alright, let's try number eight here. So prove that triangle FGH is similar to triangle FLM. So I want to find the distance of FL and FG. And then I find the distance of FM and FH. So on your own, find those distances. If you have time, try number nine as well. Number nine, you have to find all six distances for number nine. Okay, try those. All right, let's start going through these distances here. So FL, what is the distance for FL going to be, Izzy? It is the square root of five. And what about FG? FG is the distance, the square root of what, Allie? It is the square root of 45. And how does the square root of 45 simplify to? What'd you say? That is 3 squared to 5. Nice job. And what about FM? What is the distance for FM going to be, Emily? Hold on, give me a minute. All right. One. Square to 5. And FH. FH is the distance what, Darian? Yeah, it's the square root of 45, which is 3 squared to 5 as well. Are they proportional? Yes. yes, because what are you doing? You're multiplying by three. So they are proportional. Wait, so if it just says prove that, if you find the You gotta find the distances. Yep. So to prove it, you find the distances. Number nine, did anybody get a chance to find the distances for number nine? Um, I believe here, if I remember correctly, QR is, what was that, two squared or 13? And TU is the square root of 13. Um, RS is, ooh, what was that one? Oh, that was 2 squared of 5. And UV was the square root of 5. And then SQ was, I believe, 2 square root of 10. And VT is the square root of 10. So that one has a scale factor of 2. What would you say? Where do I have 6 at? Oh, why do I have 6 distances? Oh, because this one, didn't, number 9, they don't share an angle. Do you see that? Number 8, they shared an angle. So I already know that part's similar. Number 9, there's no angles they share. So I have to find all 6 distances. Yep, all of them. Nope, Q to R and Q to or Q to S. Yeah. See the triangles there? Yeah. There's one triangle. I find all three of those distances. Then I find all three of those distances. So that was there, the six distances come in at. Okay? <coughs> Here's your assignment.